Sisase Life Abundance under my late pastor, Pastor Ngobo. Amen. Uh, hey, guys, we have amongst our midst a serious prayer warrior, a serious Mawang Shai, a preaching machine. But it's not motivation. The anointing, hailing from the purple. We have Mamke Kana in our midst. Amen. Importantly, She's the biological mother of my dear Mamutab. Can we please stand on our feet and just welcome her? Ma, can you please come greet us? I'm so sorry. She's the biological mother of Mamutab. I didn't tell her she'll have to come and, and greet us, but please come greet us, Ma. And we don't hear what the wise have to say. SBA Hambel and Lela longer than most of us have been alive. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Can you do me the shalibit on the level? Say, the bit of Lamorana Chesso. Amen. Hallelujah. Give my Kekana, what I said, be in Popo. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jau swara makura, katuko dili dili. Lime sanya re pilango yana, kunya kwa basala ni mau sali, bara pedi mau sali, bawa re msangu fiti la mashungu mare, iba ni basari mieta, riba ba 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 ba, mau fika mashungu mare, iba ni mieta, usari katuko. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Riba Hallelujah. 
I can't take any more Sianda. The Spirit of the Living God. My God, Rakata. In the name of Jesus, I speak anointing, my God. I speak the circle of fire. I speak life in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God as we take our seats for the life of making God. Hallelujah. That's rank. That is what we call rank. Ma, I'm honored, I'm privileged, which is Vashed. Can I ask where's Chairperson? Can I ask the pastors? to make sure we have a Kingdom Sunday in Mars here. I need more. If it were up to me, I'd just sit down and you continue. But I know that's against protocol. If you could honor us one Sunday before the year ends, Ma, I'd be most grateful. Please make sure it happens, Pastor. Amen. Can we bless God? Amen. Uh, can we please uh, go to the book of Luke, chapter 22, verse 31 and 34? Unfortunately, I don't have a screen today to read the word of God. So forgive me if I'm a bit slow. Chapter 22, we'll start reading from verse 31. Uh, today, I was supposed to continue. Last week, we began a series on building capacity. Amen. It is clear to me, I should no longer say it's a series because whenever getting the Fundisa a series, I end up only teaching once on it, and the Lord wants me to move immediately. As I was preparing Izolo, just looking at my notes from last week, praying and building up to today, uh, to continue with the message, the Lord said to me, my people need encouragement. He said, my people need encouragement. They are going through isn't So they need encouragement. And not just motivation, but encouragement. What is encouragement? Uplifting and reviving somebody's spirit, soul, and body through the word of God. That is what is encouragement. Amen. Proclaiming the word until it comes to pass. Amen. Uh, so today, before I tell you the title, I would ask we read scripture first. Amen. Uh, with a prayer from half past five to half past six in the morning on MS Teams. Amen. How many people have MS Teams? If you don't have MS Teams, there's a media team there. If you want to support WhatsApp, it can also support teams, MS Teams. Amen. So go there to the corner. The boys will help you download MS Teams and they'll show you how to do it. Amen. Now, Baba Lapa, even Oami, Lokoban, and so forth. Straight after the service, go to them, the guys at the media desk, so they can assist you to download it. Please, assist, especially on my Bab. Because imperative school again now. In fact, Ugo Besisala et du Zane song and Abing Sangana la Jalik saying, but I understand the school dega cool and there's traffic we still need to get to work. Amen. So be faithful because the Lord had said as I was teaching devotional prayer, the Lord started saying, eh, Abantu want to pray, saying got a baz kuligoranjan. Uh, and the Lord is saying, Ma, uh, He is breathing, we are breathing as a church. midnight, the transformational prayer of the morning. Oh, but that's where He transforms you. Let me tell you, midnight prayer doesn't transform you, it transforms your situation. 
But if you want to be transformed, you need to pray and start your day with him. And too many saints pray to transform the situation, but they don't pray and meet with him until they are transformed. The situation doesn't transform until you are transformed. Sometimes the situation doesn't need to transform. You need to transform. It's not that the situation is bad. It's that your outlook on the situation is bad. If you could see the situation as God sees it and you transform, the situation would be good. So it's important we start. Uh, if you were here on the all night prayer, it was amazing. Amen. Uh, to those who were able to make it, I explained why we need to undergo this fast. I will opine on it a bit tomorrow morning. Amen. Half past five. I expect absolutely everyone, by the mercy of God, I plead with you to be on that call. If you say, you know what, I have a phone problem, we can speak after the service. If it's a data problem, we can speak after the service. Amen. But I'm told MS Teams doesn't eat data too much at all. It's like WhatsApp. Amen. It's almost free, actually. So let's please, just for that hour, every morning, starting tomorrow, we are fasting until Sunday, straight after church. We are praying together and we are breaking the fast. Amen. We will have another fast towards the end of the year. Praise God. It is a 6 to 6. I would prefer let it be a midnight and you break at 6 p.m. Where we meet for a just quick prayer at 6 p.m. Amen. So in the morning we meet from half past 5 to half past 6 for a, a small, a very 20 minute teaching. We pray together and you continue speaking to him. And then you go on with your day. Then at 6 p.m. we meet again to pray. On teams, amen. On Wednesday, we are meeting here physically, as you know. We meet for 6 p.m. and then you may be released to have a meal. When you are breaking the fast, please don't break it with a meal with all the salads, with jelly and custard, amen. When you break it, it needs to be it needs to be something small, sizable, just for you to have enough energy to continue with the day tomorrow, amen. I will send a guide later tonight, just remind me, Pastor T, so that we are all aligned. Praise God. Amen. Can we go to Luke chapter 22, verse 31? Amen. We can read here on the sign together to save time. We'll read this scripture and I will then explain the title of the message today. Amen. And the Lord said to Jesus, Simon, Simon, Indeed, Satan has asked you, asked for you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you, that your faith should not fail. And when you have returned, to strengthen your brothers. But he said to him, Lord, I am ready to go with you, both to prison and to death. Then Jesus said, I tell you, Peter, the rooster shall not crow this day before you will deny, before you will deny three times that you know me. Amen. This is a dialogue between Jesus and one of his closest disciples called Simon Peter. Amen. Don't get distracted. Praise God. This is a dialogue with Jesus. They are about to betray him. He's about to be taken. And you know the story, praise God. In fact, let me not say you know the story. He was crucified for our sin. That's what happened. That's the story. Each time we get an opportunity, we must explain it. Amen. So he's telling his disciples, guys, I'm about to go. Then he goes to his favorite disciples. And I use favorite loosely. The Bible says he has no favoritism. But he goes to the disciple he has entrusted more than the others who. And he says, Peter, Peter, Satan has asked to sift you, to sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. And when you return, strengthen your brothers. Eh, 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 eh. Peter says, no, no, Lord, I, I, I will not be sifted by Satan. I will not betray you. I am willing to go die with you. You, you can worry about the others. Me, now you know, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. You know that I have got your back. Let it by Pelu Jesus rebukes him and says, actually, can I tell you something? Before the rooster crows three times, you would have denied me. Amen. So, in other words, that was his sifting. But 
What's interesting, and this is the emphasis of the scripture, Uguti, thank you, bless you. Uguti, uto, ujesu. Satan has asked to challenge you, but when you return, you must strengthen your brothers. Jesus doesn't say, if you return from the challenge. He says, when you return for the challenge. In other words, your return is guaranteed. So today I'm ministering under the title, your return is guaranteed. Your return is guaranteed. Uh, Satan is asked to challenge you. Satan is asked to tempt you. Satan is asked to cause you pain. He has asked to go dwengula. He has asked to go shunga njango kolo ini. But utu jesu umusubu ya. In other words, Peter, I know it's overwhelming, but umusubu ya strengthen your brothers. If I was Peter, I'd say, how do you know umusubu ya? That's not even a question. Utu jesu, I know umusubu ya because this sifting is under my supervision. So, your return is guaranteed. Some people are going through many various trials and tribulations. Uh, temptation is not from God. The Bible says God does not tempt anyone. No, can he be tempted by evil? That's James chapter 1. But trials are from God. Somebody once asked me, oh, if temptation is not from God, what does James mean? No, the Bible is clear. God will never tempt you. But what he does do is allow you to go through trials, not temptation. Temptation is when you have an evil desire and then Satan uses that to cause you to say it's clear in scripture. So you can't be tempted by God, but you can be trialed by by God. So this is not the first time this happens. Do you remember uh, the Bible tells of, of a certain man called Job of the city of Uz. Little Bible, he was diligent. He was upright in all his ways. It was Job. 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 And because of that faithfulness, little Bible, Satan went to God and asked if he could sift Job. We see this happening again. Where Satan says, Peter has been the front runner. Uh, Peter has been doing all that is good that you've said in your word. God to again funu umbo nuti. Oh, my challenge is silla. Usa zoktanda yini. And he went to God and said, I need to see Peter. Ungulungulu, the father, usa chalu Jesus, Jesus, usa chalu Peter. Usa, I have news for you, Peter. That's the same way Job was asked for by Satan. Now usa chalu se keli. Go back to verse thirty-one. Now Satan Someone said, Satan has asked for you. He has asked for permission that he may sift you as wheat. Today I want to take you through the process of sifting. We understand what we understand the challenges that Peter went through. So you can understand the challenges you are going through. Notwithstanding the challenges, your return is guaranteed. You must strengthen your brothers, i.e. you must be launched into purpose. Was Peter. Let's start by looking at who was Peter. One, Peter was a fisherman. Go to Luke chapter 5, verse 3. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and tossed the multitudes from the boat. This is Jesus. He asked from a, he asked for a boat of a certain fisherman. It so turned out the name of the fisherman was Simon Peter. Amen. So we understand from this scripture, if you continue reading Luke chapter 5, oh, what is Simon or Peter, I'll call him Peter, was a fisherman. Now, I'm trying to show you or demonstrate to you, what although oh, Peter, why say Hameno Jesu for three years, although Peter, why I say Vu Jesu faithfully for three years, although oh, Peter was anointed beyond measure, although oh, Peter was the most faithful of Jesu, he still had certain issues that needed to be sifting, and therefore Jesus allowed for the sifting. So the first issue, go Peter, Uguti was a fisherman. 
occupation a fisherman is a person who has a cunning mind or a craft mind. Trap for fish and trap fish and pull them out of their natural habitat. Now, a person who's a fisherman, whenever the Bible, help me, Holy Spirit, whenever the Bible talks about people who are fishermen, it's usually symbolic of a mindset, no matter supernatural, uh, not supernatural. Let me say that demonic disorder is supernatural, but not in a good way. That demonic disorder of being able to trap people, to be able to pull people out of of their natural habitats, which is God. Do you understand this? So, in order to be a fisherman, Melua, so go to fish, um, keep a ganjani, let's sell a corner, um, keep a ganjan, um, fish, quint our yak, um, trap a ganjan, um, keep it. So, 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 fish, a fisherman in the Bible were people who knew how to remove people from in Tawaya when Christ, they knew how to trap people, they mentally, they thought they knew more than the normal people, they thought, ah, this one I can just trap. That was how fishermen used to operate. So, that was his first issue. That needed to be sifted. Two, who was Peter? He was an unlearned man. Go to Acts chapter 4, verse 13. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated and untrained men, they marveled and they realized that they had been with Jesus. Amen. Who was Peter? What? He was a fisherman. Had the ability not to go to the new way, but the ends are bound to bow away. About keeping their natural habitat. Two, he was an unlearned man. Now, you may ask yourself, why? Why is this a problem? It's not that he was unlearned. In his unlearnedness, no more Jesus and not you an apostle to all the nations. His immediate response would be Jesus Minang Fundil. Minekaya Kekumunto Pumelelayo. Minekaya Gagazabe Konum Postoli. Minekaya Gagazabe Kono Drive him out. Minekaya Gagaza Salagumuzo double story. So, Gayas with Peposia Kongam, Kolumko, Lukota Ekayas Fundil. So I know what he think again. So 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 his mindset of self pity, his mindset that is said to put it in a right in a panty. I guess was when you are needed to be sifted. Now let me tell you about fishermen. Those who have studied a bit of history on the Bible will tell you the fishermen were people. Abba Shulega with Bible study or Bible school a Bible. There were schools of the Mosaic law of the Old Testament, of the Torah, rather. Amen. Where they would study, you have Paul, uh, Paul the Apostle, to the contrary, yena. Wa 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 pasa kum la degle so school, okay? So, upita yena, wa zamu mu ya wa shuleka. Ba u shuleka gu skole se baibele that time. Wa ubi text collector. Umi text collector shula meaning in number of zazi. Then the lowest a Jew man could be was a fisherman. So, what men look so sad, they all mindset pay to it. When you solo is called, when you solo a man numbers, one of us will be sex collector. So, so you are nothing in society in order to live. You now need to fish. So, that needed to be sifted out of Peter. Uh, there are people here who do manual labor. And if I were to tell them today, God says tomorrow you'll be a CEO, they would not believe me. Not because they don't believe in God, but because who am I? Who would send God be CEO? So he needed to be sifted of the old mindset as Bugela Pantiena. Uyabas Abanta Bating, Abanga Ting, Utu and Uba Bugela Pant, Yena themselves, Bugela Pant. Uso no man kuluma, but what God will do at height in a gate, Sizama, it's so balukulukula phone. Either that's what needed to be sifted from Peter. Three, who was Peter? Peter was a sinful man. Go to the book of. Uh, Go to uh, John, no, Luke chapter 5. Go back to Luke chapter 5. Go back to Luke chapter 5. I want you to see his response. Put Jesus again. Verse 8. Verse 8. 
This is Jesus calling Peter. Eti Peter, it's now time, guys, you fish for fish. It's now time to fish for men. Izutinu Peter. When someone Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, depart from me, for I am a sinful man. Now we see why he needed to be saved. At three, he was a sinful man. A fisherman, even now, but to men in Tampa, they are very vulgar, they are very uh, sexually immoral. In fact, Konu Sweetie, to clear your throat, acting with fishermen's friend. Why? Because fishermen are always shouting vulgar things. So, fishermen by nature were vulgar, by nature they were sexually immoral. So, oh, Jesus, my friend, Peter, Peter, oh, please, so at me, na Jesus, I am a sinful man. To Jesus, you are about you are sinful, yet I want to use you. I go about to Jesus, you are about Velu Namanga, Otoa, Zok Seven Zisa still. Vel Velu, you are Shulega, Otoa, Shulega, and Wako, Zok Seven Zisa. Yeah, I know, but you have not attained the full stage of being me. God and Zok Seven Zisa, nonetheless, but it does not negate that he was sinful and needed to be sifted. So, when Satan then comes, Go back to Luke 22, 31. When Satan then comes and says, I want to sift Peter, Jesus says it's okay. Why did Jesus say it's okay? Because Peter needed sifting. But in the sifting, or clue, or Peter, or challenge, or Peter, one thing was guaranteed. When you return, his return was guaranteed. Nam Sanje, I'm about to continue. But in Funu was Nam Sanje, no more as one aluto. Gifunu was where Uguti, no ma, you can go through the toughest trial, no ma, you can go through the toughest challenge, and Satan is truly sifting you. God has ordained it one, but two, he will ensure you return. Ah, Gelakshi, Ebunja, Ugulu, Ah, Gelusu Kale, Uze Ufe, Ah, Gelusu Peke, Uze Ufe. I am telling you now, I do not know what challenge started in your life. What do you think? You think it's a woman, you was a woman, you don't know what to do. I'm a woman, you don't know what to do. What is the sifting process? Allow me five minutes to explain it and then I will prophetically declare and have holy communion. Amen. And the sifting process had three stages. It is the threshing floor stage, it is the winnowing stage, it is the preservation stage. I'll start with the threshing floor stage. Lel Kamelit sifting, it was used for wheat. Whenever they needed farmers at the time, they still do it in rural places in Europe even now. Whenever Befuna to get grain out of the wheat, grain that can be cooked and eaten as food, that can be edible, to be presented to people, for people to consume, the wheat first needs to go through the sifting process. How do they sift the wheat? One is the threshing floor process. The threshing floor process entails a witty touch with bagel pants. Then they would call animals to step on the wheat. Can, can, can I interest you? The grain, a pelela at the threshing floor, it's the grain that was the best out of all the crops. When a farmer would plant wheat, who beggar the best, I beg it so, so, I beg it a lane as or leg, I very tattooed and chat is your dice, Lobat. If all your sift one, be your sift you call a good threshing floor. If they were panty, go be with the biggest animals to step on them. After the animals have stepped on this wheat, go tattoo a big presses, press it down, it shall be panty. This is just 
the grain that was chosen. Ankulunge grain that was not chosen. A grain that God can use. Failure Shiswa. You show the grain Ukulunkulu can use. I know you are crying now because you are crushed. M17 no sepo, you are crushed. M17 Putlando, you are crushed. In the family, you are crushed. I am saying to you, it's possible. You have been chosen by God, but you cannot be chosen and then be taken to the table. Melukale in the threshing floor. After they've pressed the grain, Bazamuksusa, there's something called chaff. Chaff was a hard shell yeah, around grain. And if you eat a grain with chaff, you can choke. Same way if God sent you to the nation with Lenkinga Yako, you're going to choke people. So, Nyanze Lakile, Uti Kale Kishwe Lento, Exupayo, Mene Kale Kishwe Lento, Ezos Choka. Then the grain is pressed down, and you think, okay, it's done. After that, mom can say, press it down the grain. The farmer and his workers, they pick it up, and they start smashing it, and they start smashing it. Ooh. Have you ever been in a process <laughs> when the pain is gone, it's Yes, yes, this is it. Let me tell you that the press had been lifted. So you felt a bit of a release. God says a crushing. After the farmers take the wheat, they start smashing it. They start smashing it. They start smashing it. <clears throat> What are they doing? They are removing the chaff. Guess who looks here? They are removing it. Koba. Go amanjo uma benga taisela band and sent out for consumption. I wait and echo by the chaff. Leo waiting abulala band. Leo waiting atlala la inga kunyeki. Me eleven the show but I wait. I be hamba. I say to me the chaff. The threshing floor. This is where your bad character is removed. Yes, you'll be zero, but you've got a bad character. You'll be zero, but you are prideful. You'll be zero. That's why you're on the threshing floor. It's only the best wheat that would make it here. This is where even this is where even your secret sin is shawala. And unfortunately, all my grain in the phone, you can't from the grain they have no choice but to keep beating the grain until it but the farmer can't take a chance you know why this has gone on for years you are holding on to Ikoba you are holding on to the chaff I don't know what chaff forgotten you. No, no. You are the chosen one. That's why you are there. Abba we were bent long ago. The useless wheat here shits one just straight away. When Nangoba une potential, what I long as young and born. Law loves young and born. Gay born choose yak. Long gum seven, this are seven, this again. But I call it the floor. This is where Peter, Jangoba, what was his sifting? What is sex should be labeled to just as a mulala? What's all when Buhamba and Jesus and Peter said, No, no, 
Uh, he denied him. He denied him. The roster crowd, he denied him three times. So, let behavior be Peter. Oh, Peter was impulsive. He was an impulsive man. Go to John, what is it, 10, 18. I want to show you something. Let me find the scripture. I want to show you something. He was emotional and impulsive. John 18, verse 10. He was impulsive. He was loyal. He was good. He was a good servant. God was impulsive. Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it out and struck the high priest servant and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Oh, Peter, why is there a sword? Why is there a sword? What to Jesse Banjwa? What to Jesse Kaibaya can fail? This was scripture, it must be fulfilled. Who pins our Jesse Mepele and Nan Tabu to Tin? How to give him Jenkins? What about Uti Le behavior has to be sifted? This is the same Peter I taught you last week. Praise God. Umutu Jesu Wati Peter Hamba. We are Shumayala Wabesis or what in Gag and Golukuluku. Gag at Jesu. Kosh. His own master, it I know what's good for you. It's now time for you to expand and not just preach to truth, but to everyone. What's not so, my Lord? He, this is Peter. Why Ninkani? He was impulsive. Why at me in jail? I don't mean my words. Let me tell you, that needs to be threshed. It's not from God. It needs to be threshed on the floor. You, you can't preach like this. You, you can't preach like this. You, you, you can't preach like you can't go represent me like this. And I went through the hardest time in my life. So Peter, his behavior of being a fisherman, seeing a woman and lasting. Being annoyed by his friend and swearing at him, that needed to be sifted. Let us say, I'm not just three years. I'm not just one good just one guy going sift things. I'm not now. The answer is no. Jesus wanted him to see, to taste and see that the Lord is good. Master said, hooked into Jesus, then he can allow persecution. He would not have entered into Christ. Why so chicken killing? So Jesus will allow you to taste and see for three years that the Lord is good. When you are sweet, when you are sweet, when you tasted his sweet, when you are serving diligently, then it starts. The threshing flow process. Goba iba I don't know why I'm thinking of Samson Nulu. There was a man named Samson. Samson. Samson was mighty. We know that. He was chosen by God to defeat the nation of the Philistines. We know that. But he had an issue of lust. Why did God allow Delilah to fool him and the Philistines to capture him and take out his eyes? It was his sifting process. Wow, manje. That if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off. Rather, enter the kingdom with one hand. Thank God is sifting Thank God is sifting Samson had to go through the threshing floor. How do I know he passed the threshing floor? How do I know? Let's see, by Bailey, when he died, he killed more Philistines than when he lived. Do you see what one was went? He purpose here, keep us out the book of judges. You must understand the purpose here, Samson. You must be a Nazarene. You must be a Nazarene. That means I will cut it. He can't. And if don't raise a massage, your head, why must you be a Nazarene? Go bang funu be pure. Why must I be pure? Go bang funa an uncommon, unprecedented concentration of power to live inside of you. Amanda was selling mutangoli. I can be honest with you. I can be on so getting over to you, but I'm not into us singing. You know, I'm getting over to you. I'm going to find so much power in you. The power is to kill the Philistines. That's your 
our purpose them sabeni is to kill the Philistines. But no go tabula la Philistine. Why is begelo tilaira? Aham be nebang and make. Awa bula lekelen just small small. Akubega yo pose. Ashumaye la be zamantu to Christ small small. Aham ba yo sala nebang and pose. Ala le nemanke mosan. Waka to slow mutu be mela pili purpose. Asim kipe lentem shula. That was his threshing floor. But let them keep a mention. Little Bible, he came into his mind and he said, Okay, can a young man just lead me? And he has what in that right now, no to mom cool of the Philistines. Won't come out rulers now, won't come out Philistines as a nation. I gather together in a certain colonnade or in the way till so it's time for purpose now. No more saying fool, no government of Mazan and Guasova, a mess our circle. No more saying fool, no more pridefully. Who can you find more prideful? And Guas. No man has shelly motto. No man sing fun no who's trailer. No person who walk on kumpola. Who go to me na lo? Em a ngalala ngashi. Ugu nugu luenzelo. Who's even when he puts you in a place of power and work, and you are a power, you can never entreat on his hands. Go be yans kumshungan chani. When zela wena goba, then a promoter man che. Then a nigum sebenti man che. Oh my God, you will. You will not listen to anyone. You won't even listen to him. This is Bible, Samson. He went into the party. Wabampa, the pillars of the colonnade. The colonnade, Yawa Pant, Afa Wonka Mafilist. The threshing floor process. After the threshing floor, Ungeni process, actually winnowing. Winnowing. Winnowing, what they would do is the process where they've now beaten. They've now beaten the grain. Then, in order to make sure there is no shell or chaff around the grain, they would take a fork, a four pronged fork. By Gubeganj, by Pose Pesu Luit. And the chaff, Ngobagati, shall we sit and be, would fly off. How do you know you are in the winnowing process? We as what is in as circle as painful. We as long as you are being lifted up, but all of a sudden, things start leaving you. When they throw away the wheat, throw up the wheat, it's a shy. They are exalting it, so it seems. Then the shell would fly with the wind. Let me tell you, when you are in this process, friends start leaving you. Even family sometimes starts leaving you. Even your money leaves you. Can you go to Pastor Clara? That scripture I showed you when we were having a discussion. It's Luke 10, somewhere. Start from verse 1. I want to show you an example of the winnowing process. Ukuti how it works. Yes, usu shayi we kotwa. Yid manje yes and yes akseko is painful kotwa. Why are people leaving me? Why are my finances not making sense? I tithe, I give, I do it all, but I'm just not where I believe I should be. Let me show you. After these things, the Lord appointed seventy others also and sent them two by two. Okay, kubega yek vistri. These are people who are called by who? Jesus. It's when Jesus sends out the 70. Listen to what Jesus says. Go your way. Behold, I send you out as lambs among the wolves. Go back. Carry neither money bag, nap a sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the road. This is Jesus. Can you quickly come and tie my shoes? I would like to round up. This is Jesus who keep her the 70 to go out and work for him. But is what the symptom that they have to go through. Thank you so much. Have it all. I need your money back. So that's why your finances don't make sense. Greet no one along the road. That's why you can't even have friends. Abandu 
do close now, but your sisters in Christ, and guess you're just unbelievers. Even sisters, brothers in Christ, who were holding your head all of a sudden, and that's it. And such a all of a sudden, and Sakulumi, all of a sudden, and that's who were to. When Jesus sends people, he said, greet no one. That's winnowing. When they lift up the grain, let the pipe, the chaff leaves the grain. When you are in the winnowing process, people start leaving you. Also, just leave your money at home. Oh my God, when you are in the winnowing process, Peter, Peter, Satan has asked to sift your sweet. But I have prayed for you that when you return, step into purpose. We knowing. We are stage to preservation, which is the last step before your launch. What is this preservation process? After they shyly wait, and the chaff starts loosening up, it carries the anti siafono glunga manch. In selfishness, ne create ya kenga tayi siapuma manch. In kani ya ko, you think it's only you who are smart. Whenever you think you know better than others, you have this problem, I assure you. I used to be like that. Just thinking you are superior, you know better. People, people, God has gifted you. People just don't think. You think. You still need this. You need the threshing flow. God can use you. Gobinkinka, <clears throat> an unbeliever can say something that will change your own life. Let's see, by bail, if father in lawyer Moses Jethro came to visit them. Ufigo Moses is exhausted trying to deal with the matters of more than one million people. Who Jethro apply wisdom. Yebang CDC, where Yebo, I'm not an Israelite. Otangim Dala Moses. Ngalung Lalele. Enzaganje. Appoint leaders. Appoint Abantu. Abaso seven sana now. If Moses went to Langa, we're threshing floor. Where's the Tuba when you're an unbeliever? because when you are born again and your parents are not you know more let me tell you you still need to go through this process after we know now the crane has been beaten you've gone through serious challenges to a point where you think you have been killed mm -mm, you're not it's just the threshing process master it's throw in the air they throw it up in the air then people and money start leaving you it's because it's dense and weighty. After the, thresh, the threshing floor process, that's why about you come back because the crane is weightier than the chaff. <laughs> Can we wait, Kwamoya? You are not going anywhere. Oh, you light weight. You are not going anywhere. Oh, you light weight. You need weight. After they've threw it, it will grain. You won't get the harm. It's actually grain and like a manch. You would think, man, now let grain it hard. Where your pure band is seven. Eh, eh. It's calling the good preservation. Which is the last step. In preservation, in they would gather the grain and put it in a barn. It shall is cut a seed in a barn until it matures. Ye in the preservation period. Abanya in the preservation period, Jenga man. Ye in the preservation period. He la enga zuti inga zona seko is bad. Yes, abantu bakshi ili malichi lo koto. You not depressed. Koto, you not functioning in purpose. You can feel enga to stagnant. You can feel enga to fail. You wanna move forward. Koto, one more year, you not going up. Have you ever sought God with all you have, but you just can't reach Him? Have you ever fasted forty days, you live the same? Oh, you not ready for this truth? Have you ever prayed the whole night? Exe no 
but you feel exactly the same. Let me tell you, it's the preservation time. It's not what you are the same. Sushi chile gotwa. Uchi yasa gafunu ucheng yesu kutu sushi chile ngoba. Wakcheng yesu so sheshus keep from the pan. Uzo sheshus keep we ngolo bane. Benga cheng yesu chesu. Uzo sabele la mamchulayi. Even a sick man who had cancer. Uya pila. Uzo shenu ushia leken. Uzo enu sunye isu enso. Ngulu ngulu will preserve you. Who's giving us the word? The preservation. You've been threshed. The challenges have come. We manage us to stay true in the challenges. And people and things left you. And it seems as though I am ready for the word. Mm -mm. There's a last process called the preservation. Can I shock you? Dimensions of God. You will not be taken there because you are not ready. You've prayed overnight. You've fasted. You've given. You are not authorized. Not yet. The preservation. You know you are called for greatness. You know by now you should have ascended ranks in corporate. You know by now you should have ascended ranks in business. But you are in the preservation of the wheat. This is where many young ministers pass and forget get it wrong. But it's a very passive test of pain, trials, and tribulations. But so like, a job. Thank God I'm no longer there. Three years ago. No, it wasn't three years ago. Sorry. I mean three jobs ago. Leng akala kunu sebenzi. Gizeng gizeng kodi. Gangu meli. Waba meli. Uu mamke kanu ngazi jeng sao meli. Meli, meli, meli. Sebenza kile ofem. I used to work so hard. The hardest. Genzi male ning. Ubale tela bonala. And you know you get paid a salary. You can bring in five million when you told salary law in company. And I said, mm -mm, I'm tired. I'm ready to call a Kanye Zungu Incorporated at tennis. Ulugula to Zonshale Lacon. I'm a racist, Uzonshale Lacon. Bangola and Mad Uzonshale Lacon. Bobbing a keeper manager will make a mess. Thank God I ran Kipang. Thank God Minangis Kipang. Because it's clear as time went on, I was not ready. in the preservation the, the, the walls of the enemy have beaten you down if you are faithful in preservation then the farmer starts taking you out and he starts distributing you and he starts using you and as people eat you you are edible that was made from grain that has matured for years in the barn of the farmer then the nations can eat you then business can eat you then corporate can eat you Simon Peter Simon Peter the enemy has asked to sift you as wheat but I have prayed for you then when you return, strengthen your brothers. Now, if you understand the Bible, saying that, oh, Simon Peter did come back. Remember when Jesus, he died on the third day, the tomb was empty. Remember what Jesus says to Mary Magdalene and the woman who find him. 
Uti, go tell the disciples, Ugutinfukile, go tell Peter also. Hambi Ochala na long lashi, Hambi Ochala na long pigi, Hambi Ochala na lo isoni, Gigimfunabu i, Agabu, Agabu, Yebo, Ung pigi, Lego Tagabu, Yebo, Ukampamanga, Lego Tagabu, Yebo, Eaganike, Lego Tagabu, Yebo, Ungoni, Lego Tagabu, Hambi Ochala sen fugi Lego Tua, Funa no pita, Yasu balagi le ashenda, because of what he did, God am Mary Magdalene, how young Funelu Pita, Robo Pita Bengeko, and Gaga Peleli, Robo Chablani Bengeko, and Gaga Peleli, Robo Chess Bengeko, and Gaga Peleli, Yabo Mubu Pita, how do I know you had Dinket? Yabo Pita felt a threshing floor, how do you had Dinket? Yabo Pita. I need him as an apostle to all nations. What is Waranjalo Peter? And Peter, having understood, go to 1 Peter 5:10. Having now understood the threshing floor process. And the grace found in the threshing floor process. This is now what he says. He says, but may the God of all grace, who called us unto his eternal glory by Jesus Christ, after you have suffered a little while, may he perfect you, may he establish you, may he strengthen you, may he settle you. He wasn't just saying this to motivate them. He was saying, guys, Mina, I have been suffering, but in my suffering, I was perfected. In my perfection, I was established. In my establishment, I was strengthened. And after being strengthened, now I am settled in purpose. You need to allow yourself to suffer a little while. This suffering is not unto death. This suffering you are going through is not to kill you. It's not unto death. It's so you may be perfected. Little by baby, after you have suffered a little while, you will be perfected. In other words, every crooked error in your life will be made straight. After being perfected, the Lord will establish you in your calling. Once you are established, He will empower and strengthen you. Once you are strengthened, you will be settled. Um, seven, one, nine, five. We collect two types of people. Abokal, they are still in the threshing floor process. You need grace to stay there. Abesbili, they are in the preservation. They've ticked most of the boxes. They're not sure why they are, they, they are not being launched. They started the year eager. We all did. What you about this year? Oh my God. But they're not to start You are in the preservation. But the prayer for those in preservation is not to put a baby in a Christian. Tongue will look at us from the band today. Tell us again now. Transition.
refreshing flow process or in the winnowing process the threshing flow you are still getting blows hard winnowing process there are blows they're not as bad but in king everything starts leaving you you feel isolated you feel alone friends family money it's all leaving you and you want grace to be strengthened please come forward
Okay, Lord, I tried. Bright. Zalaba. Time for release. Please come here knowing, I have to be honest, if I feel you are still in the threshing floor, I'll let you know. And I'll ask you to take your seat. I don't want to motivate when you are not ready to be launched. You're not even in preservation. You are still being beaten hard.
launch people today. They will have to leave the preservation. Ziba kote, there are three people. Ziyeke bosye, ziyaka bate, siye bole, ziyeke shike deli, ziya tata, siye tete siye, zika papaske, tete siye te, ziya kote, shake tete te siye kete, shike prete, bring it from the back, bring it here. There are three people in the Lord. Ziyeke dele, siye brosi, ika boroski, patoko siye te. Lord, you said you would launch your people today. Ziya pe siye kete le, there are three people, siye kete le. Top, 
Assuredly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you, Quebec. Whoever eats my flesh, this is his body, and drinks my blood, this is his blood, has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. It's time to consume. Please stand up, put your hands up. to shout Jesus three times as loud as you can. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I, I want you to do it again. I, I keep seeing angels behind people. Say it. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Say it again loud. Touch a lot. Advance a lot. Advance a lot. Shabbatah. Say that. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. And I will raise him up. We said on Friday. You see, so it's not just, yes, it's to remember him. Yes, it's to eat eternal life and have life in you. But also it has the ability to raise you up. Utu just whoever drinks my blood and eats my flesh, I will raise him up. <laughs> Back to in the blood, there's resurrection power. It doesn't just mean resurrection from our field. It means from any dead situation you are in, you can rise by what you are about to partake in. Quebec. Media, are you awake? For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drinking indeed. Quebec. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood stays in me, and I stay in him. We are also partaking because we want to stay in him and we want him to stay with us. Praise God. Can you bless the Holy Communion? Heavenly 
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Heavenly Father, by the authority of Scripture, we now consecrate this bread as your body, Lord Jesus. We consecrate this drink as your blood. In the name that is above every other living name, Heavenly Father, let it bring life into our lives. Let it bring resurrection to every dead thing. And Heavenly Father, as we partake, may you abide in us and we abide in you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, this is no longer bread, but it is the body of our Lord Jesus. It is no longer drink, but it is the blood that advocates, that speaks a bolder word than that of Abel. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Heavenly Father, we drink this by faith, knowing, Heavenly Father, that as we leave this place, your blood, Jesus, will speak for us in situations. It will speak for us in circumstances, oh Lord. It will advocate for us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Can you please play what you're playing?
Jesus. We praise the Lord.
Jesus. We praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Praise 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 Jesus. 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 Praise the Lord. First of all, can we all pray in the wonderful name of Jesus? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. Baba, we turn Amanda Siabulela Mwenguele that our return is guaranteed in the mighty name of Jesus. Though the sifting process may be harsh, but our return is guaranteed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Baba Siabonga Sulako. Our return is guaranteed in Jesus' mighty name. Baba wetona mantha eka meni liga chesu. Siabulela moingwele true tribulation. Kurukulu baba emfeni koko. Our return is guaranteed in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you Lord that you said when. You never said if. We thank you Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Father we give you the praise. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Baba we to help to build the capacity in our lives that everything that you are gaining Baba we may keep and apply in the mighty name of Jesus Father I pray that we may not only be hearers of your word but doers of your word in the mighty name of Jesus thank you Holy Spirit thank you Lord in Jesus name Amen